With this video we start a new series of tutorials. In this series, we are going to discuss Spring Cloud Gateway. We start in Eclipse with two web applications. Spring Resource Server 1 and Spring Resource Server 2. The two applications are almost identical. We start with the POM XML files. Spring Boot Starter version 3.0.6 and the dependency Spring Boot Starter Web. Application YML file for the first app. With Server Port 8091 and Application Name Resource Server 1. Application YML file for the second app with server port 8092 and application name resource server 2 arrest controller in the first app with the request mapping annotation resource server 1 and to get mapping method home this returns spring resource server 1 the rest controller in the second app with the request mapping annotation resource server 2 and to get mapping method home, this returns Spring Resource Server 2. Last, we have in both apps the course config class. Allowed origins, the address of the Angular application. Allowed methods. And allowed headers. For the Angular app, we switch to Visual Studio Code. We are not going to give the full explanation to create an Angular app in this video. We will just go over the most important files. This app was created using version 15.2.0. We start with the app module TS. Here we import the browser module, app routing module, and the HTTP client module. In the app component HTML file, we have the HTML for the Angular app. With a button for resource server 1 and a button for resource server 2 each with the message of the resource servers. Finally, we have the app component TS file. Here we have the two TypeScript functions to make a GET request to the two Spring resource servers and display the response in the browser screen. We launched the two Spring Boot apps and the Angular app to test the project the first time. We open a browser window with localhost 4200. If we press the first button, we see the response from the resource server 1. And if we press the second button, we see the response from the resource server 2. As you can see, everything works as expected. We can now go back to Eclipse to create a Spring Cloud Gateway app. Before we create the Spring Cloud Gateway app, we can first remove the cores config classes from the Spring resource servers. We have made comments from the code of both classes. Then we go to the POM XML file of the new Spring Cloud Gateway. Spring Boot Starter version 3.0.6 and the dependency Spring Cloud Starter Gateway. Almost all the Spring Cloud Gateway settings can be in the application YML file. Server port 8090. Spring application name Cloud Gateway. Course settings, this is where all origins, all methods, and all headers are allowed. Then we create three routes. The first route is for the Spring Resource Server 1. The second route is for the Spring Resource Server 2. And the last route is for the Angular app. The second part of the new code is in Visual Studio Code with the Angular app. We just need to make some minor changes in the app component HTML file. The URL for the GET request is now the same for both functions and is now the URL of the Spring Cloud Gateway. The path is now in the first function resource 1 and in the second function resource 2. For the project to work properly, I need to start the Angular app with a custom command. Ink serve host 127.0.0.1. We can now test the whole project in a browser window.
Back in the browser window to test the project. This time we start the project with localhost 8090. This is the address of the Spring Cloud Gateway. If we press the first button, we get the response from the first Spring Resource Server. The second button gives the response from the second Spring Resource Server. As you can see, everything works as expected. In the next video, we are going to extend the project with a Spring Authorization Server so that it can secure the Spring Resource Servers with OAuth 2. Thanks for following and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video.